slide. He's going to be doing a uh, camera for us today. Stop but moving. In, the, in the meantime, this is Talking Heads, and she was starting off the hour. I'm Martha Quinn. Paul Stanley is here. How did I do? On camera? Well, just in general. Well, you know, I was telling you I had to keep my very expensive natural highlights in focus, and once you didn't, then it took you right off. Let she looks Warren much and better Juliet go back. In person, she looks much, much better. Looking back there, I know what you have to see at home. She's gorgeous. <clears throat> Asylum is the 20th Kiss album, and since it's kind of a milestone album for you guys, we thought that we would go back into your early days. And the first question we were saying is, why did Kiss in the first place decide to go with the makeup? Well, I mean, we always wanted to be the band you that we never saw. That we have yeah, I remember it well. I mean, the whole idea was we were bored. We were a bunch of guys who went to concerts and saw a lot of bands who thought they were doing everybody a favor just by playing. And what we wanted to do was go out there and be the band that we never saw. So basically, we just got out of the audience, got on stage, and entertained ourselves. That's all we ever wanted to do. It was boring back then. And what about your parents when they first went to My a father was concert? the drummer, that's right. No. What did they what do? What was their reaction? Well, I mean, it's always interesting when you see your son wearing tights for the first time. But uh, it was good, you know. I mean, uh, I'm just an all-American guy trying to have a good time. Your 20th album is out, having had a good time for all of those records, so we're going to take a look at it. It's called Asylum. Now, why did you call this record Asylum? Well, it's real easy. I mean, basically, it's kind of like a celebration of a realization. You know, you got to understand who you are and like it. So there's this old saying that says there's a fine line between genius and insanity. And since nobody ever mistook me for Albert Einstein, I figure I'm just going to be comfortable on the other <laughs> side of the fence and have a good time. <laughs> Hence, what about the rest of the band? Do you think that that fits? Well, you know, I mean, nobody in this band is a Mensa, you know, Mensa member. Um, <laughs> we, I mean, we're just here for fun. I mean, fun is its own reward, and we're having a good time. That's all it's about. We're going to come back and talk about a tour. We're going to take a look at the new video, Tears Are Falling, and some other stuff coming up as well. So you stay with us, you stay with us, and everything will you be all right. You stay with us. And you don't go back on camera. Asylum, we were talking about the latest Kiss album. This is Paul Stanley. I'm Martha Quinn. Asylum has just been released, the 20th record. Uh -huh. Now, I remember with the last one, like an hour before you were going to deliver Animalize to the record company, you called them up and said, no, forget it. I'm going to remix the whole thing. So how did this record go? This was so easy that it, I was worried that it wasn't, it was either going to be a great album or a terrible album because it was just so simple. I mean, we went in the studio right after the tour, and basically what we wanted to do was bring some of the excitement that we had had on the stage mm -hmm. into the studio with us. We'd had a great time. We had a lot of great memories, and uh, we just pulled some pages out of the diary and put them to music, and that's what the album was. Well, you worked with a couple of other writers that you generally work with, Desmond yeah. Child yeah. and Jean, Jean Beauvoir. Beauvoir. Yeah. I just came back from Sweden. I was over there with Jean. We were on a hunting expedition over there. And uh, I brought back some souvenirs, but they wouldn't let me show them on TV. What, what else about your trip over to Europe? Like, for instance, you were in Stockholm for yeah. a while. Well, I was over there. Uh, I was doing research on male dehydration syndrome. And basically what I found is whenever I go over to Sweden, I lose amazing amounts of bodily fluids. So what I did is I figured I'd go over there, see as many women as I could, and then I went to the doctor over there for a checkup. And I walked into the doctor, and I said, well, what do you think? And he said, um, I don't know what you've been doing, but if you don't stop, you're going to turn into powder. So that was the end <laughs> of my expedition. But I had a real good time. Okay. And also while in Europe, one thing that they definitely did, and this is something we're going to be able to show, is the video. Uh, tears are falling. We're going to show that one in just a little bit, so stay with us. A fact-finding mission? The latest video from KISS, the first one from the album called Asylum. This is so nice. This is like being in a living room, just Kinda talking like to you, being in America's living room. Tell me about that video, uh, now that you're sitting in America's <laughs> living room. I told it's, you I'd get into your house. Go ahead. It started out with that sepia tone, and then you're off in the corner. Yeah, just it's very artsy. H how did they do that? Um, actually, they did it with a, they told me it's computerized. What you do is you key in certain colors, so all you see is um, the colors that you tell the computer to see. So I was wearing blue and there was no other blue on the set. Mm -hmm. So now that I gave that away, you're going to see that in a lot of videos, folks. And you know where you saw it first. <laughs> and it was directed by David Mallet. Yeah. Now what about other videos coming from the record? We'll probably do a video in about five weeks for Uh All Night. Now Uh All Night basically says that um, if you got to work all day, you got to Uh All Night. And I don't know, Uh seems to tra translate real well all over the world. Because what exactly does that mean? Uh? 
Well, I don't know. I don't know. I just couldn't spell out the real word, so <laughs> U-H will have to do. Well, <clears throat> Paul, you know, you're, you're showing me these stumpers every time. Uh, we're going to come back and talk about the tour, okay? And that's after this word from Swatch. Talking about Asylum, the 20th Kiss album. Wow, can you believe it? We got away with it this long. <laughs> you're getting ready to go on tour, I take it? Yeah. So... Yes. So what about so it? Tell what me about where you're going to be playing. When are you going to start? We're going to go all over America. And, um, you know, you're always trying to do a better show than you did last time, but sometimes uh, you really hit it. So this time it's going to be real good. I remember when uh, bosses or teachers were always saying, you know, don't make a spectacle of yourself. So <laughs> basically, if you can't make a spectacle of yourself, you come see us and we'll be a spectacle for you, and then you can blame all your problems on us. <laughs> so I think when the tour is over, we'll probably sell the uh, stage as a football field. It's real big lots of lights. It's going to get real hot. You know, I, I figure we're going to have um, lots of hot buns on stage, and we're not talking about bread, folks, so you come down. Don't expect toast. Okay. <laughs> How involved are you in, the, like, the stage design and the lighting? And stuff? Always. You know, I mean, who knows better than us? I mean, who knows better than you what you should be wearing? So, I mean, if people hate it, then at least I can say it's, you know, it's my fault or our fault. You know, when people get involved, all they do is dilute what you're trying to do. I'd rather do it myself. Mm -hmm. And you're a, a good baker, I understand. So That's if there's ever going to be some hot buns, buns in my time. I guess it should be you. How long is the tour going to last? As much as we can take. You know, mm -hmm. the tour usually ends when they pull out the stretchers. You know, and then we, we have these satisfied smiles, and they take us to some island to recuperate. Do you have any set dates at this point? Yeah, we, the tour starts November 21st in El Paso. And I know that December 16th, we're in New York at the Garden, and L.A., the Forum, is January 30th. And other than that, we'll probably be in your hometown during that time also, so. All right, we're going to come back. We're going to take a break and catch up and wrap up with Paul Stanley, and we have more You're video. You're going somewhere? Right here. I'll You're staying stay right here. We have more video right here. We've just released the 20th album called Asylum. Asylum. Now, Paul, yes. Gene has been doing some acting. We saw him in the Miami Vice show a little right. while back. What about you? Do you ever think of going in that direction? I did a film last week in a hotel on Long Island with a video camera. <laughs> I'm thinking of one with a rating sort of lower in the alphabet. Right. Um, I don't know. When the time's right, I'll do one <laughs> when the time's right. You know, there's lots of time. And uh, I kind of look at the, the show. I mean, everybody can do it also. But to me, that's my show. I always figure it's my script, and I'm... I'm doing it my way, you know, it's kind of like mm -hmm. Burger King. <laughs> um, every time I go out to like newsstands or something, there's always Paul Stanley seen here, Paul Stanley seen there with some other person or whatever. What's the wildest thing about yourself that you ever read? Um, something about you and I on vacation in uh, Italy together. You did not. Well, right. Well, we weren't there. We were in Paris, right? Um, well, Paul, it's really been nice that you took the time to stop by. Uh, good luck on the Asylum Tour. We've got Tears for Falling. We're married. That is the new one from KISS, and you can be watching for that one. Uh, Tina Turner, Let's Stay Together, is coming up within 15 minutes. And thank you again for stopping by. We'd look great on top of a wedding cake. You think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs>